Jonathan Butcher is an education expert with the Heritage Foundation, and he joins us with a closer look at President Biden's plan to reopen schools. Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you for uh, being with us. So I know that you believe the president's plan is, is lacking in some ways and sets a low bar. What are your concerns? Well, the president really didn't have far to go. I think even more recent numbers show that around the country, approximately 40 percent, somewhere north of about 40 percent of schools are offering some sort of in-person learning right now. It's higher among elementary schools. And look, if the president is calling for more than half of all schools to be in person at least one day a week, I don't think that that's far to go from where we are today. Yeah. Uh, there's also the teachers unions. You know, they what do you think they'll do in this situation? Do you think they'll oppose the new CDC guidelines? Well, the guidelines set levels at which schools will be recommended to move to virtual learning and back and forth from in person. And I actually think that these guidelines, because they're based on community numbers and not on school numbers, they actually set, I think, the wrong precedent, right? The numbers in schools so far in what the CDC and others, uh, including uh, researchers at Brown, have found are far lower than what is happening in the community. So I think we need to be looking at school by school results over what the transmission rates and the new cases are and not what's going on in the community. Yeah. And what about for parents? What would you tell parents in, about all of this? Well, I think it's critical right now because many state legislatures are back in session for parents to be talking to their lawmakers about proposals to create more options. And in places like Chicago and Philadelphia, where the unions have told their members that teachers should stay home and not go for in-person learning, no matter what the district calls them to do, uh, parents are going to need better options, right? And these unions are the same ones who have blocked the uh, increasing charter school, um, the options to charter schools and private school scholarships in places just like that. You know, in the middle of it all, what is the greatest risk for school kids? Well, it's significant, right? I think that one estimate found that some 3 million children from disadvantaged backgrounds haven't had any form of uh, formal learning since March of last year. There's one international study that suggests that students could see a loss of 3% of their lifetime earnings based on the closures and the loss of learning in the past year. So we're talking uh, for all students a significant risk, but especially those who were already falling behind before the pandemic set in. Yeah, widening the divide. All right, Jonathan Butcher with the Heritage Foundation. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.